Here's my 2010 BA Ute, which is um, looking a bit sad. It hasn't moved for ages. I had to have a flat battery. I've chucked all the, the floor that I've taken out in the back of it. Going to take it off for a rubbish, rubbish run tomorrow. Except, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's a little bit sad. It smells good. Oh. So what I need to do is um, unplug that, which I think flattened it. And that was uh, one of those um, one of those car play units that you stick on top. I need, do need to put new um, bonnet struts into it, and um, I've got a reversing camera, reversing sensors, all that sort of stuff, which will plug into that. I was going to pull all this apart, but I couldn't be bothered. Um, this is just a work car, and that's going to be good enough. Um, yeah, because I've changed changed what I'm doing now. I'm going to go back into corporate life. I have had enough of that. And uh, oh, oh, two dollars. <laughs> the car's making money already. Um, and I'm going to be changing a lot of things in my life because a few things have happened just recently. But anyway, um, one of those involves getting this thing running again. So. What do we need to do? Where's your bonnet? That pot? There it is. Uh, I need to work out which one of the seven batteries I've got under the house is going to fit in this. Uh, come on. There you are. Bonnet struts are suffering. Right, hang on. Do you have a resolution for that? Uh, one handed. All right. I'll tighten them up. Hang on, give me a sec. That's the way you do it. Just grab your, your vice grip, as they call it. These things just pop off. Um, I don't want to do it tonight, so it's sort of rush hour. Okay, so negative on the left, positive on the right. That's what we need, so let's see what we've got. I think that was the one in it. Um, before I get all happy and excited, do the whole thing up, which is there. It's gonna give this a bit of a tighten. I don't know why this battery died. I mean, this car is fairly new to me. Well, it's been a couple of months now, but I haven't, um, haven't really gone too far in it. I haven't really driven it all that much. So I don't know what its winch is about. It was fine until I installed that stereo. So I'm guessing that's what it was. Hang on. All right, let's, um, let's see if things start coming back to life. Okay. Can we lock? It's a lock, unlock. It's working. Transmission not in park. I wonder what that means. I'm just going to freak out. i got the foot on the clutch. Hang on, can we start this thing? So we're going to afford things. This thing sounds good. I think it's got a cold air in it. Yeah, so that screen's for bugging, but that one's, I'm not gonna plug it in now. God, this thing sounds good. It does actually sound really good.
lights are on for whatever reason. Really quiet. Really quiet. Oh yeah, it does. Cold air induction. Quite sounds so bloody good. Gotta be in there. Oh well, I'm back up and running. Why are the lights on? the lights on this thing. Must have water sensing lights. That's so off, off. Seems to be alright. Yeah, it does sound good though. Alright, I think we're right to go for a rubbish run and a Bunnings run tomorrow. Um, yeah, anyway. A short, sharp little introductory video to the Ute. I haven't really done with much with this before. I injured my leg, my left leg, and I couldn't really drive a car with a clutch for ages. Anyway, um, cool. Put it into context, the ute's actually going to be replacing the Land Rover. Um, <laughs> it was totally, thoroughly trashed. And um, need to uh, <laughs> clean it up as well as, well as I can and um, flog it off. I'll be taking uh, those number plates off and putting them on the ute. They were the same uh, number plates my dad had down in Canberra. So they're actually personalised plates, even though they look like it. Yeah, I just wanted you know, something to remember dad by. So yeah, he'll be going on it. And a few other car updates soon, but i uh, be selling a few. Yeah, oh well. Cheers.